Have you ever gone to a hotel or a restaurant or any service industry sort of place and had a horrible time, I mean absolutely terrible, and then left a bad review thinking, I'm going to warn the next guy. Maybe even my comments will reach the owners and they'll do something to change the terrible service that I experienced there. And hopefully this will make the world a better place. Well, you can't do that anymore. You're going to get your ass fined. Okay, so this story comes from CNN. Uh, basically, a couple goes on TripAdvisor, looks for a good hotel room, says, Hey, this place got tons of parking. Let's go there. So they fly all the way over to England, they're doing their trip, and they end up at this hotel where the parking is terrible, and they actually have to park in another hotel and walk to their hotel because of how bad the parking is. That's not the worst part, though. Apparently, this place was dingy, according to these people. I mean, I don't know, I haven't been there, but this was something that they did not expect. They had problems with their bathroom, hot water not working, when they call down to the desk and say, hey, we have no hot water in there. The desk says, well, we know about the situation and it will be fixed in the morning. Well, they were only there for one night. So that doesn't do them much good. Does it? Same thing with their dresser drawers. They go to pull them out to put their clothes in. And the drawer falls off. Like it just, the handle, like the whole like face of it just, just off. Off. That's bad. That's really bad. That's something you get your ass up there and fix right now or you move them to another hotel room that minute because that's just no oh, hot water drawer faces falling up that's just stupid stupid but again the front desk says eh, we'll get to it in the morning so they get home they're a little frustrated and they leave a poor review on TripAdvisor a couple weeks later they look on their bank accounts and there's an extra 100 euros missing, which equals to about 156 bucks. Eh? 156 bucks because they left a bad review? That was well deserved. So they call the hotel and the hotel says, well, it's our policy to find anybody that leaves a bad review about our place. Really? Really? I mean, really? So they end up calling the, the Chamber of Commerce essentially there. Uh, or their version of Chamber of Commerce in this little town. and So the Chamber of Commerce people talk to the hotel and they get this policy removed immediately, which, you know, good on them. It's stupid that they'd have to even do this to begin with, but at least something's getting done about it. Now on the other side of this situation, I'd like to give a little bit of applause to TripAdvisor. Because when they found out about this, they ended up getting all batshit a little bit and said exactly that they would protect the integrity of their website and the ability for their customers to leave reviews as they feel are necessary. I mean, like, right there. Awesome. Right there. I'm just really just awesome. Uh, it's not every day that you get, like, a lot of companies would just sort of blow them off. You know what I mean? They just say, well, you know, whatever, this is their problem, it's not ours. TripAdvisor is actually taking a stand on this one and helping this couple get their money back. Uh, so, good job. Thank you. I want to leave this in the comments. Have you guys been to terrible, terrible places? Restaurants, movie houses, hotels, anything? Left a bad review and gotten any sort of flack for it? If so, leave a comment in the comment section below. Please like and subscribe and check out my other channel where I go around everywhere looking at cool things and traveling a boots for stuff that's neat. Yeah. Have a good one. <laughs>